welcome today to St. Louis and 62nd Annual NSCAA Convention. Uh, it's my pleasure to introduce this uh, session. My name is Lee Mitchell. Uh, I'm the boys and girls soccer coach at Alda High School in Sandy, Utah. Um, very honored to introduce uh, Coach Richard G. Bate. Uh, before we go further, I've been asked about three or four times to mention that after the session, he will be over in the quick goal uh, tent right behind here to answer questions. Coach Bate has had a tremendous impact on soccer throughout the world for the past 40 years. His involvement in soccer has included roles as a coach, author, professional player, and speaker. He has been involved with leagues in several European countries, as well as those in Africa, South America, Asia, and the Middle East. Some standout teams he has coached include England's national teams, U16 through the U20s, Leeds United, South End United, and Knotts County. Coach Bate has authored the book, The Sweeper and Coaching Advanced Soccer Players, and a number of soccer coaching licensing manuals for various levels. He's played for Boston United, Knotts County, York City, and Sheffield Wednesday as a professional player. As a lecturer, he has spoken to many soccer organizations in England, Wales, Ireland, and Malaysia. Coach Bate previously has presented at the NSCAA convention in 2005-2006. Coach Bate is married and currently lives in Herefordshire, England. We're pleased to have him speak to us today about defending to win, teaching championship defenders. Thanks for your attention and give a warm welcome to Coach Bate. Okay. Thank you very much for that uh, introduction. The title says defending to win. I'm not quite sure it's defending to win. What it's more about is, uh, you might call them drills, you might call them training exercises as opposed to teaching and educational exercises. It's more to do with the moment of truth for defenders than anything else. And by that I mean, if you've got eight major defending functions, marking, tracking, covering, spoiling, intercepting, etc., etc., you really earn your money on all those things, but it's when it gets to close encounters that you really, really are put to the test. And you're one-on-one -on -one and when you're pressing. Now, I'm not going to teach anybody to press today. The work is more to do with once you've got yourself in a position to press and to move, what is it that you would have to do? No matter whether you're teaching young ones, developing youth players, or honing the final skills of professional players, you'll get something out of this, I'm sure. There isn't a coach here in this hall who can't do what we're going to do this afternoon. For your junior players, you can work on your A, Bs, and Cs. Your agility, your balance, your coordination, your speed. It'll help. For your youth players, you could use it partly to teach, but it's more to train. And for your senior professional players, it's probably more of a reminder to continue to do what they've been doing throughout their careers because they get lazy doing what they have to do. we we'll start off with a very brief warm-up on one or two of the things that you might do in a warm-up. And then we'll try and move around the field here. And if I can remember what I'm going to know on all these cones, I'll have done well to start with, won't I? Never mind anything else. But there you are, we'll see where we go. Right, these worthy young gentlemen, if you'll just come and stand behind this line for me, and we'll take that black quick bug out of the way. Put yourselves in pairs. And all you're going to do, two of you, yeah, just, who's the first pair? Good. The others just line up in behind. Just jog down there for me to the end orange cone, jog and come back. Go on, off you go. In your pairs. Twos. That's the idea. When have I used this most? When have I used all these things most? I've used it most when I worked at a professional club and we used to have what we called breakfast clubs. What that meant was the senior professional players, the 27, 28, 29, keep going fellas, 28, 29, 30 year old defenders, joined in with the under 24s, joined in with the under 18s. So the under 18s right the way through to the senior players 
we used to work for an hour three times a week on this type of work. So it was defending or defenders specialist work. All right? And it may well be at your clubs that you're under 15 defenders, you're under 16 defenders, you're under 17 defenders get together and they work on these sort of things just to make them more familiar with the aspects of defending. Do the same for me, fellows, but now just jog backwards. Okay? Same thing, off you go. So it's about small group defending. Different age groups can work together because there's virtually no physical contact at all. And again, lads. And again. You can, no, you can jog straight back if you like. You can run back. Now, all the time that you're coming down this channel now, keep your eyes on me and just tell me how many fingers I put in the air. Go on, off you go. Jogging backwards. Jogging backwards. How many? Okay, they're not bad at maths. Back again then. Back again. Now, quite simply, why? Because when defenders warm up and when they're playing a game, they do have to move backwards and they do have to keep checking left shoulder and right shoulder. Left shoulder and right shoulder when they're playing. Because the ball's there, attacking players are here. Keep checking. How many? Good. How many? Five. Two. Four. And again. Go again then. Now, this time when you come down and you're working with your mate, I want you to change places. So you're coming here and you're looking at me, you're going there and you're looking at me. You're going here and you're changing. All right? Off you go. Left and right. How many? Good. Keep going. And again then. And again. And again. Now, this time, same sort of thing, but now one of you is going to move forward, one of you is going to move backwards. All right? So I'll work with you. What's your first name? Tony. Tony. Come here, Tony. So Tony's going to go forwards, I'm going to go backwards. Now, Tony, I'm twice your age. Don't run me too fast, but make me move around here. All you're going to do is move me to my right, move me to my left, move me to my right, move me to my left. Okay, let's go. Go on there. Good lad there. Not too fast. Hold on. Steady. Good. All right. Move your mate around. Move him around. And what I want you to try and make him to do, can you make him change his feet? Can you make him change his hips? So in other words, when you move him around, if you're the defender moving backwards, there, turn your hips. Turn your hips in there, look. There. Here. There. Off you go. <clears throat> Keep going. Well done. Keep moving your friend around. Move him around. That's it. Think about your hips. Now then. How many fingers am I putting up, defender, moving backwards? Off you go. How many? How many? How many? Good. Keep checking over your left shoulder. Keep checking over your right shoulder. How many? Tell me. Keep going. How many, big man? Good. Just a quick glance at me. Know where he is. Good. Keep it going one more time. How many fingers? How many? Good. And again. How many? Good. Move him around. Go on. Shift him around from side to side. Move him about. Move him around. Go on. Keep him going. Keep him going. Good. Okay. Now quicken up the speed. Quicken up the speed. Because when you're defending, there are some times when you move and you can stay in that position, no problem. That's easy for you. But there are other times when attacking players pick up their pace. You'll have to change the shape of your hips and change the shape of your feet. So it could be that you start off doing that. Now there, there, there. That's a wholly different thing. And that could be, I'm a centre-back, the ball's wide on the flank, the striker is trying to get round my back, and he's trying to move me. So now, move down here, move quicker, you can start slowly, but move quicker, and see if you can give me that. Go on, there, cross over, there, 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 okay? Go on, off you go.